hey everyone it's frosty back here today with an all new video and yes again i haven't activated my windows i saw comments people saying that something called invalid calling object is being popping up and uh, i have faced that problem in programming so i thought uh, this could be a problem with epic games launcher but i realized that it's something else so literally it could it, it's a simple fix and it could be easily solved uh, so the first thing that you actually need to do is that you're going to be facing it here i recommend uh, always as i always recommend that always sign in uh, using the uh, google or if you're signing in using the playstation network i see people signing in using playstation network and then facing this problem so i rather would say that sign in using google uh, link your playstation network id with google id and that google id should be linked to your uh, Epic Games Launcher ID, that would be much easier. So the first thing would be to use Google. If you're using PlayStation Network or you're using Xbox, it isn't a problem. You can always follow the same step. But this can only be solved if you're using uh, like uh, a PC. Uh, in case, if you're on a PlayStation Network, I don't know what you might do, but I do think in PlayStation it might work pretty well. So the first thing that you want to do is to actually uh, go into your default programs. You can type in default F. A U L T that is, I spelled it improperly. Uh, you can see already choose a default web browser, but I'm gonna be showing you from default. So it's gonna be default apps. You're gonna open up default apps like these. And where it says web browser, you have to make sure that it's Google Chrome. If you haven't got Google Chrome, make sure that you install it. If you're on Windows 7, I do think that can be done through control panel. If you head into control panel and uh, just click on this programs, I think that's how it works. Yeah, default programs. And here in uh, set your default programs, you gotta find in web browser so in mine it opens up this default one so it should be google chrome it should if in in yours it is edge or maybe internet explorer make sure that it is google chrome anything else it won't work just make sure it's google chrome next thing you got to just open up that and it should open up in google chrome in case if it opens in something else you can just copy this link that's up above and then copy and paste it inside uh, that normal ones so I'm logging in here. So now you can say that continue to close this window and get back. So now I can close this all. So here we are uh, as always. Uh, so it literally signed in. So that's how you probably do because I saw people saying it and I searched all over the internet. So I only found this. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching.